Should you offer low when you're purchasing a property? This is a great question and my answer is it completely depends. We wanna make sure that you know the market that you're making an offer in, and if it is a seller's market or a buyer's market, because that will make a huge difference. You also wanna make sure that you decide if you're willing to lose this house, because when you make a low offer, depending on how low, the seller could completely reject your offer and refuse to deal with you again. This is not good if you've fallen in love with the house, obviously. The next thing to consider is the time that it's been on the market. So if you have a property that's been listed for a little while, or there's significant issues with it, or it's overpriced, then the seller might be in a position where they're a bit more motivated and you can get more money off of the list price. Now keep in mind, a low offer to you and a low offer to the seller are maybe not the same thing. So talk with your agent about what that actually looks like and what a low offer is in your marketplace. The next thing is you wanna make sure your agent researches the comps because if you do love the house and you wanna make a great offer on it, you're gonna to wanna to know what an attractive offer looks like and how to make it most appealing to the seller so you get the house that you want. I'm Tanya Eboy with Eboy Real Estate Team Remax Affiliate. We'd love to connect with new buyers and sellers, so if you need any more information, please feel free to reach out.